Hi guys, and welcome back to another ZBrush tutorial. Uh, today we're going to go talk about the transpose tool and how that works. It can be kind of complicated and people tend to lose their mind when they first try to use it. Um, I still prefer it over the uh, Move Gizmo. Yeah, the Gizmo 3D. Um, but I'm a little old school in that regard. So let's, uh, let's get started. So up here you can see the different modes we have. We have edit mode which takes us out of actual 3D mode and puts us in 2.5D mode. Right? We can hit edit. We go back into our 3D mode. I can spin this around. You can clear your canvas if you accidentally go out of edit mode by hitting control N on your keyboard. Control N. Alright, and that gets rid of that. But what I really want to talk about are your transpose tools here. So draw is being able to actually draw something out on your canvas and sculpt on it. Alright, but we're going to talk about these three guys here. Okay, um, so we'll start with the move tool. So you can click that or hit W on your keyboard. And your gizmo tool might be lit up already, like this, and this might be what you see. Just go ahead and click that button right there. It'll turn it off. Alright, so this is the transpose tool. And it's a, it's a little wonky to wrap your uh, mind around if you're, this is your first time seeing it. Okay. What we can do with this guy is we can use it as a measuring tool, and this is what we use for moving, scaling, and rotating as well. So, what I'll do is I'll just click and drag out right here. It doesn't matter right now for what I'm going to show, how I put it out there. So, this is my origin point. This allows me to squash this thing back all the way. And you can see it's getting distorted there. Let me try it again. Let's see. What it's doing is it's taking those polygons and it's squishing them down. All right. If I grab this center point here, and you want that center circle, the little white one that pops up, if I click and drag that, I just move my tool around. Okay. And I'll put that there for now. And then if I grab this one and move it, what I can do is it's going to stretch it from this point, and I can dictate how it's going to do it. Okay, so this point down here is my pivot point that everything is moving off of, and it's going to scooch it and distort it. Okay, now a lot of people look at this and they go, that seems really unintuitive, why would I want to use that? Well, if you got something you need to squish down, that's really nice for doing that. Um, sometimes you give you softer bends than the rotate tool does, so if I can mask this off. And then, so it bends a little bit softer than it might be able to rotate. Okay. Um, it's also nice if you need to trim stuff back. You can just do that. Okay. So that is the move. Scale, kind of similar in regards of each of these guys does something different except uh, the end pieces. They do the same thing. If I click and drag here, it'll scale down to the farthest part of the transpose. Same thing. I'll try to scale to that one there. If I grab here, this is cool scales but scales out that in the X it's not affecting my Y at all so it just scales in the X and Z D does not scale in Y if I do it from the center there okay so 
that's how scaling works. Pretty straightforward. Rotation. So, this is my origin point at the top. Right? Uses that as the center point to rotate. Does the reverse. If I grab the other end. But if I grab the center, it rotates along this axis here. Or along the transpose tool. So it carousels around that. Okay, so that is the way all the different functions of the different transpose tools. Um, something I will say when you're drawing out your line, and to draw this out is just click and dragging. That's all I'm doing. It's just clicking and dragging out. Okay. What's cool about this is if I'm in a like orthographic view, I can just click and drag and the line comes out straight. Let's say I want to go from that point to that point. If I click and drag here, what it'll do is it'll cut a line through the object. As I completely miss those polygons. Alright, let me uh, make this guy solo. And there. There you go. So I just bisected my cube with that. And because it, it'll try to adhere to different polygons. So like if I have that subtool open, I can make it do it against uh, let's say that right there. Now I can come from here down there. Let's see now it's attached to that. If you don't want that to happen, you want it to be a straight line, you can just hold down shift and it'll make it come out straight. So regardless, let me see. Uh, Alright. See? It's going out straight and it didn't attach itself to the other cube. Additionally, if you're going out, drawing this out and you hold down shift, while holding down shift, you can change the angle in like, uh, I think it's 15 degree increments. So that's nice. And if I got the move tool and say I want the cube to move along this line, if I hold down shift and I click the center one to move it, it'll move along that line. So it'll hold that trajectory, which is nice for trying to uh, realign things. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the transpose tool. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.